Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. My name is Tunde Victor and guess what? I got a new Instagram. My new Instagram handle is Tillens Gram. So I'm gonna leave um I'm gonna put it below this video with um the name of my new Instagram. I'm gonna put it below this video right now. And um I got this image from PS Desire. You can check out their YouTube channel, I'll leave a link below so in today's video we are going to be retouching this image right here i have not retouched this image before but um we are going to retouch this image together right now this is my first time retouching this image and we're just going to do that right now so let's get started first thing i'll do for this image i'll duplicate my layers you already know by pressing ctrl j or command j if you're using uh um an apple pc so i just duplicate my layer right now so i'm going to use my patch tool this is my patch tool right here i'm going to click on my patch tool so i'm going to try and use it to fill any place that i think there is hole um i'm using a patch tool and these are my settings my patch is on normal, my source is on definition, transparent, and my diffusion is on 5. So I am going to take this video slowly because I want you to learn from this video. The purpose and uh, the goal of this channel is for you to learn how to be a better retoucher, even better than me because I am still learning. So I'm just going to use my patch to to fill the hole what i'm doing is i'm selecting where there is hole and i'm replacing it with a fresh place that's what i'm doing i'm just selecting where i feel this to be replaced and i'm replacing it with a fresh place so i'll just do that as quickly as possible and uh, i will not rush it because i want this image to look good after we finish retouching it because we are retouching it together i just want to appreciate you guys for the love you guys have been showing me i really appreciate you guys so i'm just gonna do that now i'll be fast about it i promise my last video was long but it was it was um really good you should go check it out you are going to learn a lot from my last video i'll put a link to the video up here right now so i'm just gonna do this for this part that looks so rough we've made um i think we've made some progress so let's check our before and after now this is our before this is where we started from and this is where we are right now this is where we started from this is where we are right now you can see we've already made a huge difference if you are used to my um videos or my channel you know the next thing i'm going to do is to run my frequency separation action um and i use beauty retouch um beauty retouch to run my frequency separation this is what i use to retouch my image and if you want this just send me a message on my new instagram at telegram and i'm going to reply you i'm just going to run my frequency separation action you already know if you want the image to be smooth use it a lower radius 
if you want more texture use a higher radius for this particular image i want it to be smooth but i'm still going to have texture i will get to there so i'm going to use four for this image i'm going to use four so as you can see my figure separation action is open here so i'm just going to turn this one off and i'll use my mixer brush click on brush use my mixer brush i'm using a clean brush my settings is on cost custom my weight is on 30 my load is on 30 my mix is on 20 my flow is on 20. so i'm just going to brush now if ah, okay let me explain this play this part very right well if you are using the mixer brush you have to click on this corrective tone right here this is where you are going to be brushing on this corrective tone if you brush on high frequency texture it's not going to work you just brush on corrective tone right here so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to i'm going to brush on the corrective tone remember brush according to the shape of your subject face and you brush your highlight separately and your shadows separately so i'm just gonna brush throughout the whole image let's see our before and after so far this is where we started from this is where we are right now, this is where we started from, this is where we are, as you can see the image is already looking good. So I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. This is my first time editing this picture. But I already know what I want to do for the image. So I'm going to be careful here so I don't brush highlights to the shadow. Okay. This is probably one of the easiest pictures I've ever edited. <laughs> Cause it's too it's too easy. It looks com complicated at first, but it's one of the most easiest pictures I've ever edited. If you want um, this whole file for parties, just um, go to PS Desires page or their website and um, you can download the picture from there. There is no copyright attached to the image. You can use it for both personal use and commercial use. Okay, I think I think we are good. Like I said, this is one of the easiest pictures I've ever edited. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of mistake here. Just gonna fix that right now. Yes. Yes. So the next thing I'll do, I'm going to use my close thumb to uh, remove the blemishes on her lips. Okay. I think I'm going to brush over that one. Let's see if okay, I think this works. Okay, we we'll get rid of that. It works. Just try anything that works for you. There is no um particular way to do anything in Photoshop. There are many different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. So any method that works for you is fine. So the next thing I'll do for this image, I'm going to merge this um, my corrective tool and my low focusing together by holding shift and control e 
to mesh together and I'm going to run portraiture on this image right now this is my portraiture I'm going to run it right now I want it to be smoother I'm just going to click OK now as you can see the image is really smooth this is before I focus separation this is after our focus separation this is our overall before this is where we started from and this is where we are right now so the next thing I'll do for this image I'm going to add a little bit of uh, depth to the image so I'm just going to do a little bit of the jumper I want to give the image um, some kind of depth so I'm just going to use my um, normal brush I'm going to reduce my flow to about 3 oh. I'm going to reduce my flow to 3 and um, I'm just going to push on the highlights I'm just going to touch the highlights and I'm going to burn the shadow just a little just a little touch a little I'll touch the lips okay I'm going to delete this black and white layer okay this is after our touch jump on just a little difference this is our this is after and this is our before these are after and this is our before so the next thing I'll do I'm going to add brightness um, I, I'm going to use my curves to add brightness so I'll just click on my curves adjustment layer and click on um, lighter RGB and I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit and um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is add sharp onto this image to give it a little bit of texture so I'm going to add I'm going to sharpen this image a bit to add texture to it this is it before this is after I think I'm going to add another one to it okay this is okay yes I think we've had a texture to this image now this is uh, let me just group the two layers together Ctrl G this is our uh, before this is our uh, after you can see the texture on the image right now this is our uh, before and this is uh, after if you feel it's too much you can always reduce the opacity so I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit okay take it I like it like this so next now do I just want to color grade it a little I don't want to do much so I just use my color balance and add a um, little bit of red to the mid tones because I'm just working only on the face and the skin so I'm going to add a little bit of red to the mid tones and a little bit of yellow and um, magenta yes we are good so I'm just going to group everything we did Control G to group I'm going to show you where we started from where we are right now so this is where we started from and this is where we are right now you can see how we, we've made this image look so 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 good thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video if you learn something from this video please subscribe to my channel and um, share this video to others you feel they are going to learn from the video and don't forget to um, click the notification bell so when I post a new video you'll be the first person to see it Thank you so much guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.